Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Notify Channel. When you think of Australia, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Kangaroos, right? Well, this country famous for its endemic animal has been making strides in a different direction recently. Australia is aiming to elevate its image by becoming a producer of advanced defense systems. Their goal? To climb higher in the world military rankings where they currently sit at the 16th spot. But how are they planning to achieve this? Let's delve into some of their intriguing defense systems. One example of their efforts is the Loyal Wingman, also known as the MQ-28 Ghost Bat. This unmanned aerial vehicle serves as a support aircraft in fighter jet formations. It's crucial to understand that in high-risk flights, the main fighter jet, which is the most valuable asset, must be closely monitored. In a USAF formation, for instance, which uses the American F-35 aircraft as the main plane in formation, five support aircraft are required for the flight. Since these support aircraft are highly vulnerable to attacks, the Loyal Wingman is an ideal solution as an unmanned aircraft that can reduce casualties. In terms of its responsibilities, the Loyal Wingman acts as an information provider about the situation surrounding the fighter jet formation. From information about conditions on the ground to conditions in the air, this device uses state-of-the-art sensors for reconnaissance and surveillance. Additionally, to carry out its duties, this defense system must have high speed. Therefore, the speed that can be achieved by the Loyal Wingman ranges from 1,118 to 1,305 miles per hour, adjusting to the fighter jet that is the main aircraft in the formation. With these high hopes, the Loyal Wingman is expected to become a major asset in the integration of manned and unmanned aircraft formations. If successful, Australia will be one of the few countries with the strongest fighter jet formations. Let's shift our focus to Australia's naval defense system. In this regard, Australia has a light aircraft carrier known as the HMAS Canberra. This ship is used for landing and launching helicopters. In terms of its size, the ship is 757.22 feet long and 23.23 feet high. With these dimensions, the HMAS Canberra has a very large carrying capacity. The ship can accommodate 1,046 soldiers, 110 combat vehicles such as armored vehicles and tanks, as well as several helicopter units. With a spacious deck, this ship can accommodate up to six units of MRH-90 and Sikorsky S-70B Seahawk helicopters or four units of larger CH-47 Chinook helicopters. The total load that can be accommodated by the HMAS Canberra reaches 27,500 tons. Thus, Australia dares to launch its light aircraft carrier in long-distance battles. Moreover, since this ship carries very valuable assets, the HMS Canberra is equipped with top-class weaponry and protection. In terms of weaponry, there are four units of 25mm Raphael Typhoon, six units of Bushmaster M242, and two units of 7.62mm M240 machine guns. In addition, the ship is equipped with a missile decoy system called Nulka and a torpedo decoy system called Nixie to protect itself from approaching anti-ship missile attacks. Thus, the HMAS Canberra is not only capable of accommodating a heavy load, but it can also protect itself well. In addition to the HMAS Canberra, Australia also has another ambitious naval defense system known as the Hunter-class frigate. This ship is an ambitious project from Australia that is expected to be completed by 2031. This project costs around US dollar 35 billion. With such a large amount of money, it's not surprising that the Hunter class frigate has very high specifications. In terms of weaponry, this frigate will be equipped with various types of weapons. For instance, the canister advanced anti ship missile and the Mat K 41 vertical launch system. Additionally, the ship will use the MU 90 impact torpedo and machine guns like the Mark 45. For defense, the frigate will be equipped with the Nulka missile decoy system to deal with approaching anti-ship missile attacks. Interestingly, although referred to as a frigate, this ship will also be used to launch combat helicopters like the MH-90R Romeo Seahawk. 
With its extremely high specifications, the Hunter-class frigate will be one of the most complete warships in the world. When discussing defense systems, it wouldn't be complete without mentioning land defense systems. Unlike other countries that focus more on tanks, Australia is leaning towards the development of armored vehicles for troop transport. One of the best is the Bushmaster, which has a range of 497 miles at a speed of 62 miles per hour. In terms of size, this vehicle is 23.56 feet long, 7.87 feet wide, and 8.53 feet high. With these dimensions, the Bushmaster can accommodate up to nine personnel for raid attack purposes. To ensure the safety of the military personnel being transported, the Bushmaster is equipped with a state-of-the-art weapon called the MK-44530 MM caliber. This weapon has a special function as an anti-trench weapon whose ammunition mechanism explodes shortly after being launched, thus hitting enemy soldiers in the trench. By controlling the trench, Military personnel inside the Bushmaster can easily launch an attack without having to worry about dangers in the trench. In addition to the Bushmaster, there is another armored vehicle called the Lynx Rhine Metal AFV. This vehicle has a length of 25.33 feet, a width of 11.81 feet, and a height of 10.83 feet with a weight of about 50 tons and can carry up to eight personnel. The main purpose of the Lynx is to transport personnel from one place to another. To support its mission, the Lynx is equipped with a state-of-the-art weapon called the Lance 2.0 turret, which contains the main weapon, Wotan 35 cannon, capable of firing ammunition penetrating steel and buildings. Thus, the Lynx Rheinmetall is not an armored vehicle to be underestimated in terms of attack. What makes the Lynx so special is its ability to change its function according to the mission faced. Five modes can be used, ranging from attack mode to support modes such as becoming an ambulance. Interestingly, this vehicle's function change can be done through modifications in just eight hours. This ability to adapt to various situations makes the Lynx a very special vehicle. Well, that's it for our video today. See you in the next video.